Hello. <laughs> hey, we have Risky on the line. Uh, All right, Risky, hi. welcome to the show. Uh, for everyone watching at home, today we'll be starting with a new Twitch show called 7K in 7 Weeks, where I'll be inviting one of my friends over every week on Discord, Skype, or TeamSpeak, talk to them about StarCraft, and uh, they help me out in a, either a specific matchup or just in general. And after that, I'll ladder a couple of hours on a special account, which we tried to get to 7k in seven weeks. And if we don't make it, we just start season two until we reach 7k. And if we do reach 7k, then the next season will be uh, 7.1k in seven weeks, I guess, until we reach Cyril's MMR. And uh, yeah, that's that, that that's basically the setup of the show. So welcome to our first guest, Risky. Thanks, man. Uh, a pleasure to have you here. Have you? Do you have anything prepared, or? Uh... Yeah, I have some notes. All I have right. some thoughts. All right, perfect. Do you do you just do you have replays to go with, or do you want to go into some of my replays? I think, well, all my replays are basically broken. Like I've only played on stream since the uh, the patch. Ah. So my 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 games against Protoss are not not too good. So I think it's better to just go with your replays. Okay, sure. Uh... You have any? Yeah, I think the WCS replays from last week will be broken as well. Ah, oh. no? uh, yeah, 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 they will. Okay, yeah, that's that kind of would... what my plan was. Yeah, uh, that would be nice to go over. Um, old, 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 old. Wait, how long ago did I play WCS? Uh, wasn't it like a week ago or something? A week and a bit? Yeah, I think so. You played on the 20th. Okay, yeah. Oh, so it's been like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, what we do instead is I can do some replays that I played against Denver or some of today's games. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> I have some more like abstract, non. Yeah, sure, sure, stuff sure. Stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. I'll invite you into the replay. Can you send me something? I can just join off you. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, I think, yeah. I invited at the same time you joined of me, I think. Ah, really? I stop. Rookie mistake. Rookie <laughs> mistake. <coughs> That's a good question, good question, actually. Have you been 7k before? Um, yeah, yeah. No, I've been on my yeah. main account in er main? early 2017, I think. I was 7k for, uh, well, temporarily. Not for very long. Nice. Yeah. Um... All right. Do you have do you have any anything any generalities or any way which you think PVC should be played? Like um, the, the perfect PVC. What does it look like for you? I'm not sure in terms of like opening builds at the moment. It's like it kind of I don't know. DT drop still feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can get like the the Drogo timing, <laughs> uh, like the super early one. I give yours by the way. Huh. Oh, you gave me host. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> But other than that, I'm not really sure. Every build seems kind of weak on its own. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you have to do something to deny the scanning of Zerg. So I think it's really important to at least try quite a bit to get the to deny the two ling, the two ling run by, or the one ling, whatever Lambo does. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty important uh, as Protoss. How do you feel about that? <clears throat> yeah, like obviously, I always want to deny that. On on some yeah. some of the maps, it feels a bit difficult though to both get the adapt scout in and yeah, yeah, yeah. and cancel it. Well, one thing I was thinking of, and something that Drogo does, is he sometimes just keeps the adept at home. And something that's also well, uh, Gunky Panda does quite quite a bit, and it's just really annoying. Like some, like he, they just kind of flip a coin on whether they do it or not. But um, yeah. How yeah, about yeah, I, I do it sometimes. Um, it, the problem I have with that, especially because I I know scout a decent amount, yeah, is yeah. that if if you do that without having a probe on the map, it becomes real dangerous, That's real it. fast. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I always at least want to confirm that there's a third base. Third base, yeah. In my eyes, that's that's very valuable. I I think that's about as valuable as the two links coming in. So I think that's a. I think if I don't probe scout, I almost need to send out the adapt most of the time, yeah, or I'm gambling big time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. Then. Yeah, I think if you don't probe scout at all, then yeah, you need to uh, send the adapt out. But if you are probe scouting, like if you're doing like a core scout, I think it's fine to sometimes keep the adapt at home. 
Okay. The the early phase with the Oracle, by the way, could we go over that real fast? Because I'm actually kind of curious because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Most of the time when I see other Protosses, they at least get some kind of kills with the Oracle. But these days for me, it seems almost impossible. Um, uh, natural usually has two Queens. Third, there will be no drones until there's a spore. And in the main, there might be one Queen and a spore. Uh, yeah. And with good overlord spread like this, it feels very, very difficult for me to do anything. Even if there is no spore, most of the time I only get like two, three kills and then yeah, yeah. there's too many queens. Is this normal or is this something where it's like uh, your movement is off? Mm, pretty normal, I'd say. I don't think I'd lose any drones to, oh. to anyone, really. Like, uh, I mean, if you know like the Zerg's tendencies and how they, how they do like the... Like every Zerg is a little bit different, I think, in like how they set up their queens and spores. Mm -hmm. At least it feels that way anyway. Like I feel my defense is quite different to like Lambo's and Sarah's defense is, I mean, I, I don't, I haven't seen Sarah's defense that much, but it's probably quite different to, to Lambo's as well. So I feel like if you can see those sort of tendencies, you can adjust it to like, to what they do. Okay. So for example, um, in how I do it is I quite often have like the queen from the main go down to the, go down to the third. I have, uh, go down to the natural, sorry. Mm -hmm. And I have like two or three queens there, ready for the oracle. Then I make a spore, and then I go to the to the third. So that basically kind of leaves my. I feel like as a zerg, you have to have some small area of weakness mm -hmm. um, where you can get like two or three drones, maybe if you have good micro. So I feel like if you in this scenario, could could you could you go back a bit and see where in this scenario you think the weakness would be? I guess it would be the main, right? If I just commit to the main? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like, either the main or you just sit on the third. Like, that's quite. That's what Droga does quite a lot. He just sits on the third and, like, tries to kill these drones coming out of the eggs. Okay. And I think that's fine. That's fine, too. Like, you're, you're denying this um, this rally. It's mm -hmm. like uh, this, um, whatever it's called. Like, transferring the drones. So that's also nice as well. So I think stuff like that. I mean, it's obviously super difficult for you to like know how every zerg does. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's something you can maybe think of. Yeah. Mm, probably could have got an extra drone, but I understand going out there. Yeah, I don't like taking whole damage on my oracle for some reason, but I don't actually think it matters too much because most of the time it's going to be with your army after a while anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I usually what I do, I use it to take my third. Um, if I play Archon drop at least, yeah. uh, and then once this is kind of locked in for a bit, I fly it towards my prism, so my I can get my my Archons warped in easily. Mm -hmm. um, then here Lambo actually did something which I found rather annoying. He built like 20 links or so total, and he kind of harassed this base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This is quite nice sometimes. I'm not exactly what, maybe a... Um... How do you feel like a about a, like a blind shield battery at the third? Um, I, I, I don't think that's so much the issue. Like I'm not afraid of losing my third or even losing no, the no, pylon, no. but but it can be nice. Yeah, I, I, I before like the gates then. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I I could actually see that because I tend to warp in my sentries there anyway, which sometimes feels risky. So I just do pylon, uh, put my adept there once it finishes. Then battery in the mineral line or just next to it? Just next to the okay. uh, to the depths. Okay, yeah, makes sense. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try that. And then here I was, um, this actually went rather poor. I was surprised yeah. how quickly this died. Yeah. And then I, I'm not sure if I'm capable of microing both things at the same time, but I, I don't think this game I did, I did it very well. Like the initial part was good. Um, I want to see where your Oracle was. Okay. So it's just going back to the third. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, I mean... Can you really be expected to, like, obviously warp in, try and go the main, and bunker your oracle properly at the same time? It's pretty difficult. Like, yeah. it would have been nice to just keep that stalker alive so you didn't have to have this ship. Yeah, well. yeah. But that's... Yeah, that's... It's easy to... Uh, easy to understand why you'd... Why that would happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, he was on like, he wasn't on that high drone count, yeah, he was on 55. So that's kind of the, the price you have to pay for these links. So I don't think it, I think as long as you didn't lose this Archon, it would have been 
pretty decent for you, right? Um, you think so? Yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah. Before that happened, I felt pretty good because I think I also yeah. saw that there was no no gas here yet, mm. and I had a, susp a suspicion that he wasn't that he didn't have one of these gases either, but he didn't have both. Mm -hmm. So I was yeah. I I felt okay with this situation if I didn't lose my one archon, but losing an archon is so expensive that. It's a bit and it mad. just loses you so much momentum as well. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I manage to kill like one, two queens early on, it's really nice to just fly around for a bit against like one, two queens total. Yeah, and you can see he like immediately makes a hydrogen. He can't, like the, it becomes a lot less scary uh, for gas. I mean, when you mm -hmm. have when you lose an archon, because yeah, it just has so much less, like you have less momentum to like harass, harass the zerg like before the four gas uh, timing hits. And then your your attack is also weaker, so it just feels like very easy to just drone up to to seventy here and tech up. And okay. Yeah. So that was quite a big deal, I think. And yeah, obviously this pylon is super annoying. I feel like uh, Prodigy should put more effort in, like cleaning up these links. Like uh, once you have the Oracle back of your third, mm -hmm. I feel like you should just be you should have this adept. Um, just like clearing up these these links, okay. just have the oracle like either at the third or like uh, hovering over the adepts. But obviously, that's super hard to do. Like mm. um, yeah, yeah, the the warp sure. But maybe like once you've gone in with the warp prism and then you're coming out, that's when you can start doing that. Okay, just like patrol an adept there, or just a move it like yeah, yeah, yeah. just, just this move. line and because it's yeah, it becomes so much less convenient to to scout your gases. And just generally be, you just feel a little bit less safe with the, without the links. <laughs> you don't really want to rebuild links either, right? Especially yeah, if you yeah. go into Roach Hydra. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess if you play like Hydra Link Bane, it's less inconvenient. Uh, somewhat. Like, we be still want to be going to like 70 drones. And like, if you're killing the links, we, we still need them there. So if we make the links before we get to 70 drones, then it's okay. less efficient. So, yeah. Um. Ah, something I did want to mention to you, but you actually did this game um, against Roach Hydra. I feel like sometimes you over over zealot harass. Like you're, I think you're one of the pros who's really good at like sending around zealots and mm -hmm. generally consistently harassing. But I feel like sometimes you do it a little bit too much against Roach Hydra specifically. Okay. And um, yeah, so this is something I noticed that Showtime does. He keeps like ten. 10 to 15 zealots in his army and i feel like it just your army becomes so much more like stable and less uh, less punishing if you like if you're slightly out of position okay or you micro slightly worse i think it's really nice to have those those zealots at, at least until um they don't have lurkers anymore like after they have lurkers maybe it's good to like send those zealots around but okay. i think for the in between the roach hydra and the lurker phase i think it's good to keep those zealots in your army at least some, right? Like, you still want to be harassing like you do. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what do you think is a, a good number of zealot harass? Because I do agree, sometimes, like, I'll drop, like, a, a prism here and then warp in eight more. And yeah, if yeah. a base is completely empty already, like, the difference that in damage that 12 zealots and 4 zealots do doesn't really seem to matter too much. But the problem I sometimes have with 4 zealots is that uh, once 3 roaches pop and, like, there's a queen, and he micros it well, I'll kill like three drones. And if I had the eight yeah. there, then I might force him to evacuate the base. So I'm not exactly sure what the, you know, the, the, the golden number is to do there. But it's hard, but I think you should, uh, I don't know. This is, this, I think this requires kind of like a Protoss perspective because I'm not exactly sure on how you should do this. Mm -hmm. but it feels, when I'm, when I'm against warp prisms, it feels the worst when I'm trying to attack and then and then you go in. Rather than like Yeah, yeah, of course. I feel like yeah. in this situation he's just kinda of macroing. So if you went in like I I've seen you sometimes go in when nothing is happening. Yeah. And I feel like that that's definitely the wrong time to go in. Okay. So if you see him like across the map, or like in the middle of the map even, then that's your time to go in. What do you think of um but I'm not exactly sure on the numbers. Like, yeah. like you said, like, uh, yeah, I think if he's across the map, then you should w be warping in. If you if you want to go in with just four zealots, I think that's fine too. Like when nothing is happening, just to like force him to have attention on stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah. 
uh, okay, I, I have one question. When do you yeah. think I should send this prism back? Imagining I still have two Archons in it. Because, uh, especially if I scout his stack. So, for example, if I don't scout his stack, my, the rule that I use is I go back around 650. Because I'm afraid of Muta and I didn't manage to scout the tech for whatever reason, you know? Mm -hmm. um, however, in this case, I saw Hydra. Uh, I'm about to spot Lurker then. Do you yeah. feel like I should just keep my Prism on the map? Uh, yeah. I think you with should the two keep Archons? Be careful of your Prism. Mm -hmm. but don't see, like, don't actually go back until you actually see Hydras, I think. Like, until you see... Yeah, but what if I see the Hydras? Do you really think it's that important for me to go back with it? Yeah, I think so. It becomes so much more like attention attentive for you to not lose your prism in that okay scenario, right okay so i think yeah. i don't think it's worth it like the the archons aren't even really doing that much damage in that situation because i have like everything set up and also you have more potential to lose the prism which is really bad right like two archons in it okay so well, i feel like as soon as the hydras are out you kind of need to go uh, back what what if we play swarm host do you feel like i should keep that prism on the map uh, I think it depends on how how the early game went. If it went super bad, I think, or like if it went less, like worse mm -hmm. than average, then I think you need to you need to go back to like defend the first wave or first or second wave. But if it went well, then I think you could potentially keep it on the map. So as long as I feel like I can defend the first wave without losing yeah, any big yeah, gas yeah. units. The, the first or second waves, those are the most important waves, obviously. Okay. So as long as you can defend those without losing too many units or too much economy, then I think, then yeah, I think I, uh, you can keep the Archons around. But it's, it's a judgment call based on how the how the game went, I think. Okay. Okay, I think we can... <clears throat> yeah so at this point like the link should definitely be already dead okay it, it it's so it's so nice to have them there <laughs> like i just know exactly your army movement basically okay yeah it makes sense and also prisms are very easy to yeah, spot. yeah, yeah. okay yeah, that's yeah. True. okay yeah. makes sense um Something I'm not entirely sure of, especially against Roach, could you pause for a second? Against Roach Hydra, is because I'm never sure if it's gonna be drops or some kind of Nidus, is um, if I wanna send my Phoenix here to clear these overlords, do you think that's worth it? Or even if you don't see the prism, you're gonna keep some units in the main? Because I feel a lot more comfortable as my Phoenix is patrolling here, but I heard some Zerg say it's annoying if you use the Phoenix to clear overlords, so your prism has a... Uh, you know, a, a yeah. clear path to the main. What do you think? I, I think with Roach Hydra, it's definitely better to keep her around her main. But I think in every other scenario, like if they're not playing Roach Hydra Lurker or okay. something like that, then I think it's better to, to have this Overlord, to, uh, have the Phoenix just literally just hold position there. It's so annoying to have that there. Okay. Because um, sometimes I won't, I don't know if this is correct, but sometimes I won't put units in the main. If I have like good Overlord coverage around here and mm -hmm. I don't see the Prism anywhere, and I have like obviously overlords outside my main, and I don't see the prism anywhere. Sometimes I just won't have any units there. So uh, with Hydra Bane and yeah, with Hydra Bane. Okay. Hydra Bane, Roach Swarm Host. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, how, how we've had this discussion before, but how do you feel about second Robo? Um, I, like... I I actually don't think it's necessary at all. You you think. I know you think it's good, but I think yes. um, in a game where I can't kill my opponent with the push, my my follow up is is gone. I think I might have well just lose the game. The moment I, I think Xerxes second Robo, I think it's in my head. It's like all right, you actually don't need to attack anymore. You can just defend the brutes, and I think you win the game. Uh, I think you shouldn't like I wanted to discuss this like once I actually saw you try and go into late game but I don't think you should ever try and go into late game okay. like at all like I think you yeah but I mean, I'm not, not I'm not even talking about regular late I'm just talking like a tempest push like five tempest against like broodlers I think if I don't if I have mass immortal it feels so much worse to do this um... I'm not convinced by the five tempest push I think you need to do the the 
the pre-hive or pre-brutal timing, and then if that does well, then okay. you can finish the game with tempests. Okay. I think that's that's the way you gotta do it. Like tempests feel like a, a finishing the game kind of unit in PvZ. Otherwise, like if I if I survive with broodlords and like a few drones or something, I can still make investors and really slow down the game like a lot. And then I get to like the investor broodlord army. And you just you just can't win. Okay. Um, it, this is just against Roach Hydra Lurker, though, right? You're, you're not suggesting yeah, me to play two Robo against Hydra Bane or nah, against no, no. Uh, Roach Swarmhost? I think it's okay, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it. Okay, I can feel that at least. I mean, how often do you like get into the Tempest and actually win? A lot. Against a lot, really? Yeah. Well, a lot. Yeah, a decent amount actually. Yeah. I find that surprising. Like against very good Zerg, I'm assuming? Well, it depends what you consider very good. I consider you well, very I'm good. Like, oh, so, well, uh, I would consider myself <laughs> good. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> like I, I Lambo, Elazer, yeah. Serral, these sort of I, yeah, I, th I think against Serral. Elazer, Raynor, I had it happen a few times. I think they're getting better against it though, attacking faster, two in faster. So maybe you're right. But may maybe I'm too stubborn. I'll, I'll, I'll try the, the double robot for a bit. I'll, I'll see how that works for me. But most of I the time when I do the Tempest, it, it is against Hyro Bane, uh, when it works. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I have a harder time against Hydra Roach Lurker, because even if you have Tempest, if they still have some leftover Lurkers, it's very hard to push into positions. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that. I, I have one more question, actually. Do yeah. you find it more annoying to have um, one big run by, or many small ones so like here i do the the four four i think i might even send two here or something or three there um i think the i think they're the, about the same strength but in different scenarios i think if my creep steps super good mm -hmm. it feels like the i don't know maybe not i don't know uh like if i see like one or two zealots coming around like super early then i can just send like two roaches and it's fine yeah yeah so in this game do you think uh no good because his creep spread's rather good he has good map vision yeah i think you when you're making the moves you need to make like power moves okay so i feel like the okay the big zella run bias would be better mm -hmm. that's just a feeling I don't, I don't actually know like super specifically Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think this is good. <laughs> Just sending it in randomly, like even though you are doing. Ah, oh, but I saw him attack. Advice. No, I... he was he was he was sure. moving forward. I thought okay. time to yeah, go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, no one. That's fine. Actually, if if that was like a reaction to him moving like here, then that's that's good. It just felt like at that point nothing was happening and then you just kind of went in randomly. But if it was actually like an intentional thing. Then I can't remember. Good. I'd like to believe that it was intentional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, actually another thing. The Archon against Roach Hydra Lurker, not too important, right? Archon yeah. count, yeah. Like, what Jogo does... I, f I feel like Jogo has a lot of very good aspects in PvZ. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he does do really well is he like understands that you should just keep making... A lot of Templar, like I think he would have like ten Templar at this point. Really? Well, it's he just wouldn't you really wouldn't add like Archons. Okay. No, maybe maybe you have to, like two. I think two is fine, but like okay. he wouldn't add any more than that. I don't think. I mean, you'd have to ask. Yeah, yeah. Drogo says Mass Templar. Yeah, Mass Templar against Roach. Okay. Yeah, Roach yeah, yeah. That makes really a lot strong. of sense because a lot of the time my pushes against Roach Hydra Lurker kind of run out of. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah out of steam after a while actually i always make archon as like a you know it's a, just a, a standard thing Good you know so, yeah but yeah. okay um yeah this is what i was talking about like the, i think these zealots in your army are pretty good okay. oh, they're really good for the breaking these positions i think yeah and I, I don't think i should have fought this though right i think i made the right call to just give up this position for a bit i think you're right but i think you could have set this like a sick flank up like if you go half your army there and half mm -hmm. your army there, and just A move in. I think this is something Rail is really fucking good at. Real? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Okay. He used to flank like Roach Hydra Lurker, and it felt like impossible to win the fight um, with like lots of zealots. Like, if you have this many zealots coming from both sides, mm -hmm. 
his army is completely stuck here. Okay. He doesn't realize we're coming from the side. And then a couple of Archons, or a couple of uh, Immortals on both sides as well, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. It's just a full split through the middle. Yep. Okay, makes sense. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, you know, have a hive. You, you saw the infestation pit, actually, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I saw infestation yeah, nice. pit. And I think I saw 10 gas at this point as well. So I was like, uh, ah, yeah, yeah. it's like, this is, for, for me, these are telltale signs. I don't actually think he needed 10 gas. I think 8 gas is sufficient yeah. most of the time, right? I agree. Yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the one carrier? I don't know. I, I like carriers. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, maybe not the way to go. It's just because I, I'm always afraid of. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Make the mothership and fucking kill him. Okay. I think. Oh, oh, right. Fuck the, the as well. Fuck the transition. Just fucking kill him. With the mothership. Mm, I also feel like actually I'm not sure how to do this. Could we go back like maybe two minutes? Hmm. Nourish? Yeah, sure. At this point, I like I know I'm gonna push, you know. And what I would like to do ideally is to clear some of the creep uh, at at multiple angles. Do you think this is is worth it, or is my main concern still not dying? Because at this point, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna die. I have like six cannons on my third. I have a I have a Templar there, like five Templars in my main army. Well, you have two observers, right? So I think if you're confident that you you're not gonna die, then just couple of zealots, like, clear some creep. Zealots, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. You want to go back to the where we were? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I feel like you should be while you're waiting for this membership, you should be finding like more angles. So you should be going like up here and then coming back and then go up. Going up here again, maybe kill the base before you get the membership. Okay. And then you can decide where to push. I think would be good because at the at the moment your army is like I can't engage into it. Yeah. yeah. So and you could, you could do what you want basically. Okay. Um. You think a fort behind it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, I guess it would be here the fort in this case. Yeah, you can take it. Take it. You. I mean, I have plenty of money. It's just yeah. something I'm not very sure about most of the time. I mean, I think you can do either option. Okay. If you want to just all in, then that's that's fine. But if you want to take the base, that's also fine. Eh, I'd say it's probably better than to take the base, actually, because you're starting to mine out stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even in the situation where like you do a lot of damage, you still want the fourth base, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have a fourth. Fourth, second stargate is what I usually do, and have like plus one or plus two on the way for air. So. If they, if I kill like a lot of bases, like two bases on three base, then he does like sometimes I die to like the brute lord counter attack. So uh, in that case, well, I like having a fort just to sacrifice it, and then yeah. uh, until I get enough tempest to push that back. Yeah. One thing, if you can spare the attention, okay, is try like poking in with this war prison and just seeing how much he has there. Okay. Because in this situation, Labo had like a ton of supply in the yeah. main. So you can just decide to to either AFK like here and just mm -hmm. not even think about it, mm -hmm. or you can start going like round. It's up to you. I don't actually know what's better. Because okay. if I see you going round, then obviously I'm gonna yeah, take yeah. this army, take a little bit of the army off. But um, if I don't see it, then it's super good for you, right? Yeah. What What, what do you think of uh behind this? These zealots should be going here and here, right? Should have done if that. If you're pushing, if you're pushing through the middle, then yeah. Yeah. For sure. Would you? Where do you actually think I should have pushed in this case? Through the middle. Because I saw, like, I saw he moved up here, so it's like this. This allows me to get this ramp, which yeah. I think is okay. But it also feels annoying, especially once you run out of storms to control this. Yeah, and I also can just keep going back and forth. Yeah, I also notice I forget the force field a lot once I get like my max army, which is definitely a mistake. I just well, use yeah. Typically good in this position, right? Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if I do it. I doubt it. Yeah, I think this is a good move, but I wouldn't. I don't know actually what your your best attack path should be, because if you go through, let me just go to all these pings. Okay, if you if you go through the top, then I then I have a lot of time to get brutals, right? Which is not what you want. Yeah, yeah that's you what I'm. Yeah. 
e even in this case, like he he wasn't getting greater spire, but. Uh, but like, if you were attacking through the top, then I could get maybe get a uh, as well. Like if he was come more, on. If he was more on top of like stunning it. Yeah, if it was faster, yeah, I, I, he could have started it some time ago. I agree. Like he could have had it on me. Yeah. He just forgot like to the, start spire. Yeah. Yeah. So he could have Brutlords out if you were attacking through the top. But I think. Um, could you four times? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was perfect. I think. Yeah, if your aim is just to kill him, then just go through the middle. I think. Okay. But I guess if you want to transition, just kill the bases, I guess. But I don't think that's actually very good to transition. Okay, so priority always killing. And then if it doesn't work, get the fourth, maybe some Tempest, and then hope you can do some kind of counter push. All right, makes sense. Yeah. Um, at this point, do you feel like rallying to your army with your Nexuses would be good? Excuse me? Like running your nexus to your army. Why? For the membership. Ah. Just goes immediately to your army. Yeah, probably should have, honestly. That's just something I think you can just do. Like, that's yeah. cool. Like, after you have three base saturation, you just write your, okay. your nexus to your army. Mm -hmm. And they can always, once you want to make pros, you can always change it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. It just would have helped nicely with speeding up this push, or like the strength of the push. <clears throat> yeah, this is a very nice position. How do you think I should fight? I Just you pull back him... into storm. My archons oh, are very annoying. Hmm? These ramps are super annoying. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think you should have just stood like here, or like above the ramp. Okay. Yeah. Probably. And if he ever wants to come up, then you can just force forward for yeah. storm or whatever. Okay. And then you just send like two immortals here, uh, maybe a templar or something, some zealots, just control the ramp. Okay. Makes sense. Actually, now that I look back, this looks pretty scary still, no? Like, my push is pretty much running out of steam. I have, what, mm. two storms left? Three storms? I was pretty confident you are going to win this. When I lost a lot of games like this, though. Like, actually a lot, where they have, like, a massive bank when they're saving for this. I think the, the Archons are actually useless. I think you and Drogo are right. Yeah. Garbage yeah. units. I also think once you control the ramp, you should be warping in more Templar for Storm. Mm, because I... Okay, so. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because he can't really engage into you anyway. And then once you get your Storms and your 180 supply, you can just go again. You also don't have enough gates. Eight gates. You should get ten. Yeah, especially if you play one Robo. Ten or eleven. Yeah, ten or eleven is fine. Um... Yeah, I was, I was pretty confident you're gonna win this. Like the mothership, I don't know what it is about the mothership, but it feels like I do way less damage to everything. Yeah, it's like, a good unit. It really is a massive unit. I'm not sure. About, <laughs> I don't think the one carrier really added added much in this. Oh, come on, this guy was powerful. <laughs> How many kills does he have? Wait, does he even have a kill? Uh, ten kills. Yeah, this guy ten did kills. well. Yeah, did way better than most of my more. No, that's not true. Most of my mores had like 14 kills. <laughs> 17, 17, 14, 15. Okay, yeah, I lied. Archon with one kill though. Yeah, okay. My mores are good. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. That was a good replay. Yeah, that was a nice replay. Thank God I laddered a bit today. Um, I, I have my series against... I have two series against Denver. One I win, one I lose. We could do one or two replays from there if you want. Okay, sounds good. Uh, why did uh why did he say bad game by the way? Or is that just a misclick? I think he just misclicked twice and then he <laughs> Okay. I also have a game against Serral. Nice. You wanna I've see it? That one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. For my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> 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 I had absolutely destroyed. Actually it was it wasn't that bad. But this game was uh was a bit scrappy I think. I don't think I played too bad. We'll see what you have to say. Okay, I made you host. How come you don't pile on block or hatch block every game? Small ups. Really <sighs> because I tend to forget every now and then. You forget? Yeah. That's the reason? Yeah, well, or and sometimes you don't want to. So, uh, tell me these reasons. Or do you not want to? Oh, I mean, sometimes I just... Mm, 
I, I don't want to make the Zergs get used to it too much, you know, to play in this ah, situation. So it's, okay. in, in, in tournaments, I'll, I won't forget yeah, and I will yeah. do it when I feel that's, like it. Okay, that's fair enough. I like that. Yeah. I think that's not something not enough people think about. Or it seems that way anyway. Yeah. Why are you not keeping your probe there? Hmm. Probably should Any do reason? that. Okay. No. I was just curious. Because I can send... What this means is I can send my... If your probe is here, I can send my two links on the natural, which speeds up my... Um, your link run by? Link run by, and then a, uh, a kind of versus stalker, second, won't actually deny it. Yeah, it, it it's kind of what happens in this game as well. But he took like an insane path. He went yeah. like this. Like, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to do like this and then just go straight in. Yeah. This guy's wild. Yeah. Like, I, I don't... I feel like Protoss don't realize like how insanely good it is to have this information. Mm -hmm. Like, if I don't have this information, I have to gamble, I think. Like, I have to gamble. Like, it's a small gamble, but I think I have to... I think I have to gamble. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's important as well because now he can move his overlord away from the high ground because yep. he knows I'm gonna get a prison. I'm like, ah, that's empty. Yeah, this really sucks. It means I can also scout your gases a lot easier. Yeah. Probably goes in at some point, I imagine. Nah, nah, he's too busy trying to. Uh, Keep up with the multitasking. Wait. Should have cancelled and gone in prison. Hmm? Right. Should have cancelled and then gone in prison, right? Yeah, that's what I tried to do. I think I don't uh, get them. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was afraid to. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna just what? pick up one. <laughs> Okay. I I, th I thought it was better to, you know, at least get one or two drone creels and then lose two rather than not get anything and lose one, because one yes. adept is so useless one anyway. Yeah. yeah. Here I actually my twilight council was too late. I think my warp in time is supposed to be 4:45, um, or 4:40, which I think would have allowed me to kill something here. <sighs> what I'm. How does he know? I think he. Have you done this build against him before? No, never. He has two overseers on the way. Yeah, well, I I have split DTs before him a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> the, for the first time, it was a wild one. Just like two DTs here, one here, one here, and if you only get one overseer, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I think. I think. Uh, oh, I don't know. This is a really hard call to make. I think, like whether you focus the hatchery or you try to kill the queens and drones and stuff. I mean if it, uh, unless he's uh, dumb as a brick I don't think you can actually kill the queens if he has creep all the way to the natural like walking into the natural is too scary you think I could kill them one queen okay one you queen. Walk past the queen yeah okay yeah, that's true but I understand the call to just go for the hatchery like uh, this is kind of a weird build so I wouldn't necessarily be expecting 40 D's to be arriving right now so yeah, maybe at, at least I should have killed maybe one drone or something. But, yeah. yeah, and here I should have realized what was up and probably killed this queen or tried to yeah. kill it. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't seem too bad for you though. Honestly, like it's not the it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he let he let me uh, make them into archons, which was very nice of him. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, I that. me neither. Now I actually get... I'm not sure if it's... It's not really unlucky, but... I This is why I think the battery is not a bad idea. Because now I need to yeah. waste one one force field. And yeah. I think this is actually one of the main reasons why I lose this game. Well, it's also the attention, right? Like, if you know you have a shield battery... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, you don't give a fuck about 10 links. They're, like, yeah. they're not gonna even going to kill a sentry if, they, okay. if you don't get, like, a 6 round on that. So... Uh, you can just AFK there, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, because I think the two the two phoenixes that check the tech and see the gases and and drone count are really important for me. Yeah, yeah that's definitely true. I think I got blindsided a bit in this game by that. Because now I only have one phoenix and I don't get to see the spire. I feel like if you're gonna go six gas, you should have taken away earlier, right? Me? Unless you're trying to, yeah. Isn't that? I don't know Predos timings that well, but um, I, I I wasn't too sure what he was doing though, so I was like a a little afraid. Okay. I, That's true. Yeah, I, like I I just was. It's very scary to take six gas instantly because if they road shelling you, you just pretty much die. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, yeah. I I wasn't super sure there. It's pretty fair. Yeah, you seem pretty dead to me. Seems like a pretty bad situation for you. Yeah, yeah, I I think so. Too. Like if you go, <laughs> if the Zerg gets meters out and you don't scatter at all, like even if you defend well, I think I'm in a very good position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all my my cannon is forward. I don't have anything like this cannon. It probably was for like Roach Hydra drops or something. I'm not even sure what this is doing. And you're already taking like quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Even yeah. Though you're like, there's nothing really you can do to defend better. Um. I guess you can't go Stargate, can you? Like, if you saw the Spire, would you go Stargate? Um, no. Uh, like, unless I... I believe he's gonna make more mutas. Then I'll build a Stargate. Sometimes these days I've been building just a Stargate, just a mirror or a spire, and then get like two, three phoenixes if they bother me. Because against a really good muta control, it seems super hard. Uh, if you don't have uh, any phoenixes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But then you also like, you become much more vulnerable to the, the roach mm -hmm. shit. So I'm not sure. Yeah, the roach follow-up, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is rather common. Mm -hmm. He plays Roachling Bane instead. On 8 gas. And like, 80 drones. Yeah, this game went pretty well from the other game. It's not too much. I'm surprised he goes for this attack though, on 8 gas. Yeah, I didn't understand this. I think he overestimated his position slightly. Yeah, I agree. The meters are still so rough, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What do you think from here, though? I think I'm in an o like not a great position, but I think it's a position where at least I can do a powerful timing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But the minis are really annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of my supply is in stalkers. Yeah. Which I still think your timing should be good, but it might not be enough to come because you brought in so many stalkers and lost quite a bit to the minis. Yeah, 28 workers in total. Uh, I like the blink, actually. Yeah, that's, that's good. I don't think I should have pushed here. No. Yeah. I don't you think... should just be pushing hmm? down here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. super close to his fair base as well. Yeah. So normally it'd be bad to push the outer bases, but yeah, it's super close to his fair base, so. Just use this area, or you want to yeah. go down this ramp? But I think this, this uh... ramp. Right side. I think going down that ramp is so hard. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could. Hmm. I feel like you could uh, you could kill these rocks and then come from which like, rocks? These ones, sorry. Okay. Get rid of the pinks one sec. I feel like you could kill these rocks and then kind of 
go up the ramp from this area. Because then I have to be like, I have to be back here, right? Mm -hmm. So I can abuse the ramps a lot less easily. Okay. So I think you can go from that angle. Like if you came from this angle, then I think it would be terrible, right? Yeah. Because um, then I could literally just be like, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think honestly, this timing was probably should have killed him. Actually, wait. Yeah, if I don't get my plus three. Yeah, if you don't get the plus three and you engage in a better place, I think uh, this army is kind of not not very good actually. Yeah, and he also didn't at all go for a broodlord transition. Like his greater spire is done and all, but. I think I would have been able to kill a lot of stuff, and with Blink on the way, I think even low numbers of brutes I can fight. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's why I like the Blink, because it's like a backup. Yeah. Like that was a pretty, like you still like you played your micro well, but that was still like the kind of worst engagement you could take, right? Yeah. It still went okay. Like you, you have a decent army still. I think you should have definitely waited. I don't know what you do for this one actually, but ah. Should wait for barriers, for sure. That's probably why you lose the immortals here. Yeah. Wait for mm. barriers, warp in more archons, that sort of stuff. Yeah. I feel that. Would have been rough, but maybe a better chance than this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have one more. Cool. This is a long game, I can't remember what happened here, but it's long, so probably lots of things. might or he might he might hatch block me i can't ah. remember one of the two i'm sure uh, i think i remember watching this actually <clears throat> i think he hatch boxy yeah but this might be the, this i think this from the first series ah. thanks for the reset ben hatch boxy in the second series i guess yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah i i tried hatch blocking him but he got his 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 thing on hatch? yeah i'm not sure how I think I was surprised when this happened. Because I, c I, I left pretty fast, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's still okay for me. Like, yeah. Doesn't really matter. It's pretty even. Is this. Do you, in like more important tournaments, say you're playing in WCS, mm -hmm. would you mineral harass a lot more? Or would you just not do it? Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. It, is this, like, this is big, isn't it? The mineral harass. It's not big, but it's something. Okay. It's actually annoying. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's something good to practice as well. Okay. I think I play a uh, an, either an adept all in or a f four gate or five gate something like that. This looks very adepty to me. It could also be dark shrine. Yeah. Did you ever open stargate against him? Uh, once or twice. First? 
No, I, I, I'd, I've, I've done it before because he always uses has the two overlords. Yeah, Him and Namshar do that. I, I don't necessarily like what he does, so I feel like. Uh, but then, then again, Stargate is not very good, so. I don't mind. Stargate or Phoenix first. Yeah, very... Phoenix first, isn't it? but I think if you can get both overlords for free, it's okay. Yeah. And you can get a bit more done with your Oracle in that case. Yeah, that's true. Especially in the main, where there's usually only one queen. Yeah, I'll, I'll. Does he have three spores? Oh. I can't remember if I kill this base or what happens here. As I soon as you kill the spores, you go on the base. I go to another base? No, you... You just wreck oh, the okay. place. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought as well. Take but a kill. Don't even bother the drones. Don't bother. Ah, actually, I like I like splitting up the. This is good. I, I like think I lose it though. There. Oh no, I'm brilliant. I don't. That's yeah. Yeah, you're oh. the best. That's good. Yeah, I think I remember this game. You throw this game, don't you? I think I remember too. I think I think I win in the end. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, uh, an almost throw, yeah. Uh, yikes. Yeah, that was not nice. Especially because I have to recall my Archon drop. If that wouldn't have happened, he would have had to build so many roaches to be able to Did stay competitive. Need to? Um, would it have really changed much? It made things a lot easier for me, I think. It would be so nice to have the DTs on the other side, though. Yeah. But I, f I feel like this is completely up though, like the 2 Zella 2DT. Yeah, like you you're going to lose the probes that you're going to get from transferring anyway, right? Yeah. So I think... Let me see actually how it turns out. Like they're just following the links around, right? Yeah. This would, this would be exact... Oh, I guess this is... That's a nice play. <laughs> I think it's not worth it though, but this is a very weird situation, right? So. Yeah, it's, I wasn't quite sure how to respond. I actually don't think I'm in a great position. Like, I'm in a good... Actually, I lie. This is a good position, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, this should be a very good position. But imagine... Mm, I think if you see a lot of, lot of links, just keeping the... You should always keep the... The prism the there? Yeah. yeah. Unless I'm about to lose my third or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. probably right. Because then you're also forcing roaches. Yeah. Yeah, seems pretty good. Why didn't you just play 4 gas? Hmm? Why didn't you play just 4 gas? God Shut knows up. what I did this game. Yeah, you really should have just killed him this game. This would be the easiest game Drogo ever played. In his life, yeah. yeah. Uh, gets 3 immortals. And I, yeah. I don't even... Uh, he played 2 in faster, now I remember. Yeah, and I moved out, lost 2 uh, Archons. Mm -hmm. I think I was playing 4 gas, but without immortals. Yeah. Yeah, that was not great. Also against someone when I'm up 10 workers, probably not the time to attack. This was a really sloppy game. Eh. I think it'd be fine. If you think it's... Nah, come on. Why would no, I attack... Not in this situation. Not in this situation. But if you had three immortals or two immortals, I think it's still fine to attack. Mm -hmm. You've still got to trade really well. Yeah, but I don't think I need to. I mean... You don't uh, need to, but like, how, how would you know in this situation that you oh. have 10 well, I could just Pretty check his third. Know, right? Could check his third. If you could do that and see the ten workers, then yeah, you should definitely not attack. <sighs> but yeah, I remember this game now. Yeah, I think you do actually lose this game, don't you? I I want to say I don't. I I want to say you don't even as well. The two investor. You really don't like Immortals very much, do you? I love Immortals. Why don't you make them more, then? I, I thought I was going to kill him with Charge Lord Arc on this game, I think. I should probably make a bit more. Yeah. I think so. 
All right, I actually think this situation is okay for me again. I'm up like an upgrade, getting plus two up in workers. He has no upgrades, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's pretty done. It should be. Yeah, but I... I always really struggle, especially on this map, with the, the swarm host shenanigans. You but, shouldn't even be letting him get to swarm host. Do you think I should just kill him? Yeah, or at least be on the map. Like, what do you, what do you have to be scared of? You have four immortals against roaches. I guess counterattacks, maybe? But, like, if you just... I know, my, my rule tends to be that unless they have six gas, I don't really attack them. Because there's no need, because I'm getting more gas than them. Why would I attack into a guy that's gonna kill himself into me in, like, a couple of minutes anyway? Yeah, it's not, not a bad rule, but... You think I should be pushed? Yeah, I guess I should be. Well, I think you just... The swarm host should never exist in this game. That's yeah. what I think. So... <laughs> I know exactly how you show you make that work, specifically, but... Yeah. There's no way he should be able to get a swarm host out in this game. It's 40 drones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By letting him get swarm host, you're just prolonging the... The victory, I guess. Yeah, but it does get harder because swarm host actually are pretty good. Yeah. Even on those drone yeah. situations. Like now actually the game it's still good for me, but I don't think it's amazing, you know? It's not unlosable. Whereas yeah. I think it almost was. Yeah. Before. Okay. What actually, can, can you pause for a second? What actually is my play from this position? Like I always feel super locked in and a lot of people will be like, ah, just salad harass or whatever. But in a more even situation, they'll have like spines and stuff and good overlook. I, I, I feel this is really one of the strats I struggle the most against. I think mothership. Just to mothership. Okay. Just that fast. Like, uh, just whenever you feel like you can get it really. Like, obviously, in a more even game, this would be a lot more difficult. Uh, especially if I don't open Stargate. It feels like it can be extremely difficult to get it. Yeah, that's also true. But I think that's that's the only way, you, like, you can do something, right? Like, I, I agree with you that it's hard to do anything without, yeah, without the bullshit, right? Yeah. Like, you can't really move out. You can't really kill him. You can't really protect your base that well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just not sure exactly what to do against it. Like, I, I like the immortal harass or whatever, but... It feels like I'm just trading, you know, his units into mine, and most of the time they'll be going to Broodlords or whatever. I feel like I can't take a fourth base. Static isn't that good, because... Waves kill them rather fast. I think once you have Mamasha, like this situation, like once you've defended like the first few waves, mm -hmm. then you really should be teching towards Mamasha, I think. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. Because then you can, then I can't really do that. I can never get anything from the, from the wave. I mean, it doesn't really get anything there, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you do in this, this skin, right? You must do, yeah. I mean, what you're doing is good, I think. Like, This is one of the ways to win. But I just don't feel, in a more equal game, this is gonna... Yeah. It's unlikely to finish the game, like it does here. So you say just tech the mothership, try to survive on batteries 3 base? Once you have your mothership, you move out, or...? Yep, take a 4th base. Okay. You don't necessarily have to... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't play this this too much, so... It's difficult for me to say like mm -hmm. whether you should try and kill them or not, because they're. I mean, if they just have broodlords, it's not that great for them. All right. Because then once you get tempest, it's it's still okay for you, I think. So maybe you can go into tempest in that situation. Yeah, but, because he has so much appliance for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's tough to say for me. But yeah, I think most is the key thing here. Okay. Oh uh, well, the hour is basically up, risky. And any last words of advice for me before I start trying to uh, make my way over to 7k? 
more confidence. I think you're a little bit not confident enough in just killing them. Okay. Play more like Drogo. Play more like Drogo? YOLO. More oh, YOLO. Yeah. Alright. Thank Yolo you very much. No problem. And uh, we hope to see you back here one day. Maybe season <laughs> two, maybe chat. season three. Or in the Twitch chat. <laughs> so thank you very much, Risky, for your service. No and uh, Good luck on I'll be the hitting the other. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Alright, see you later. Amazing.